Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're actually doing a loadout showcase. So this was requested by absolutely nobody and my friend. So, this is just going to be a quick video. We're going to show you how to make a pickaxe build. Now there's a couple ways you could do this, but it mainly de depends on like what's like higher level here. So we're going to be going off of just straight up pickaxe damage. So what you want to do, it could either be, you can either use Tank Penny or Pathfinder Jess. Because, fun fact, the pickaxe in the game is actually hardware. It's actually a hardware item. So, you'll be use, mostly using constructors because they increase hardware damage and stuff. So, what I was saying by it mainly depends on if whoever's higher level. And also, who, what do you prefer? So, because Pathfinder is higher, I'm going to use Pathfinder. Now, this doesn't really matter because there isn't much that actually increases melee damage for in here, surprisingly. And we're not including anti-material charge here. So, you might just want to do something like slow your roll just in case if target gets hit too close. Slow them down. The hardware impact, of course, which you get from Red Knight Gridian. Hardware damage, you're going to get some more pickaxe damage. Um, I'm going to choose the Life Leech with melee attack, just so you don't die quickly. And hardware critical hit. Now, there there is like hardware... Now, you can actually make a, a, a build with the, the anti-material charge, because that actually counts as hardware as well. So, if you have something where it's like... Hardware attack efficiency. You can actually make the the anti-material charge even better because um, Archaeologist has the anti-material charge heavy attack efficiency increase as well, so you can double that, which is insane. So that's nice. We're not going to be doing the heavy attack, sadly. So. Next thing you want to do is go into. To, you can either choose. You can choose any of like the. Like any of the melee things. It just depends on what you want. But because I have the, the R R R lean. I already have life gain, so I don't need anything like the like here for example like the burger buff. I don't need this because I already have something towards that, and. Now, I could go for assassination, but what I what I want to get is, is actually this, fumble. Or anything that gives you rock and rift, because that is insane. It gives you an insane amount of damage and melee attack speed. If you're playing on really high level areas, then you, you want to choose battle beat, because... If you're playing on high level areas, and more enemies are going to spawn, so you're going to be able to keep your rocket rift going for nearly forever. So fumble's the way to go, or if you have the time and if you're in like a city zone, then you want subwafers. I might just grab subwafers just to show it off. Uh, this could be anything, but I really like stationary hover turret just in case if I'm by myself playing a mission. That's something that I would choose. The, me the melee setup could be anything, really. Except for, like, having all this hardware stuff. You could... Oops. You could have, um... All of this stuff be ninja stuff, of course. If you want ninja stuff. Or if you don't have any of this. So, that's clear all. So let's say that you only have ninjas, of course. Now, I actually don't have every ninja in the game. But, of course, you want to go for... If you want to do ninja stuff. Of course, anything that increases melee damage. But this is kind of why ninjas... You shouldn't go too much towards ninja. 
because there just isn't a lot that increases hardware in the ninja skill tree. I mean, the corrosive strikes, this assassination, and you could do. There isn't really much else here. You're gonna at least have to have at least like one constructor. Well, for me at least, because I don't have anything. There might be other stuff in here, but I don't. But ninjas is the class I have least amount. And then this could be anything that heals, like uh, I don't know, like any of the subwafer things or the the rock and rift givers. I don't have every ninja, of course. So, because ninja is probably my least my least played class. But, and so I don't really care about getting ninja stuff. So that's why I would go with... With constructor stuff. Oops, I didn't want that. main stage right here. Corrosive Strikes is actually extremely good. But I'll just go Computer Constructor just to show it off. Alright, let's get to it. Let's show off a little bit of the pickaxe build. Let's go into like a, a power level my oh one. Let's go for like a here, let's 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 turn my thing to private just so I don't bother anybody. My frantics. Yeah, let's just go with a with a destroy the encampment, so I can quickly show this off. Now, granted, I don't have everything maxed out, and I am in a level seventy zone, but because I'm not specializing in a certain weapon type, this shouldn't really matter depending on what area you're gonna pick. It all depends, because the pickaxe evolves as well as you with your health and shield so it's going to be dealing the same damage either way no matter what zone you're in the only difference on what zone you're in is your survivability because obviously the pickaxe is the most close quarters weapon in the game so you're going to be basically touching your opponents all the time they're not going to deal as much damage as like a regular weapon though so using an actual weapon is better but, you know, just for sake of memes, of course. So, yeah, if you're in Twine Peaks or, or Candy Valley, your survivability is going to be pretty low if you don't have, like, anything that helps you with healing. Like Life Leech or Survivalist Jonesy or the Burger Time. You need to at least spend a little bit towards survivability if you want to survive. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty hard. So, where is... Okay, go over there. Let's head on over here and test it out. We could test it out here. So yeah, like I'm saying... Yeah, I'm worried about, like, touching, like, the bee hat- the bees. Cause the bees are just gonna slay me. But yeah. Let's 
Especially the elemental house. They have a lot more health. Even I didn't do much damage. Yeah, this stuff is is really only good for like lower level. But if you don't want to waste any materials that you have, or you don't have any weapons and stuff, then this is the way to go. It's not that hard to actually run. It's so, it's completely straightforward. But the setup is a little technical. But yeah. And also, while you're at it, you can farm for the subwafers, which we didn't actually try out. So let's get ourselves a subwafer. If we can. I got some subwafers. I got some more subwafers. This is extremely effective on city zone. Because there's a lot of metal objects in a city zone that is one shot. You can qu quickly just clean right through. Like, cut sort of this stuff right here. Yeah, I got myself a lot of subwafers. I think I should try it out now. The damage is significantly higher. But you're gonna have to be using your subwafers constantly. Except for just for special occasions. These shield their husks, man. Are a true nightmare. As you can see, the damage output significantly increases. And the slow your roll thing is really being clutch right now. Ah, oh, there's a healer, really. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I didn't even notice the healer. Yeah, once you went inside that pile right there, there's nothing I can do. I can't reach in there. So, what do I have to say about melee build? Or about the pickaxe build? It's, it's low tier. It's definitely low tier. Because I have to be so close to my enemies, they're basically going to be destroying me the entire time. And there's no survivability. Because you need to pump out a lot of your your team perks towards damage, since the pickaxe doesn't do much damage anyway. Definitely something that you should do only in like Stonewood and Plankerton. This this ain't it, Chief, and 
these upper areas. Look at this fast farming though. I should just run this just for the fast farming. The subway for Every nine seconds I have to consume another subway for. They're gonna run out of this thing very, very fast. Um, spec into something else. If you want to run this build, don't. It isn't the best thing. Definitely, definitely do something better. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Towards the, the pickaxe build. Just in case if you're wondering, because nobody asked. Otherwise, catch you later.